In this video we will continue with Spring Boot WebSocket, today we will configure WebSocket with stomp.js and sock.js. We start with the code in Eclipse. As usual, we first go over the dependencies in the POM XML file. Spring Boot Starter Version 3.1.3 .3, Java Version 17 And Spring Boot Starter WebSocket The main class is a standard Spring Boot class. We have two records in this video. Greeting with as component content of type string. And message with as component name of type string. The main configuration is done in the following classes. WebSocket config, this implements WebSocket message broker configurer. With the following annotations. Configuration. Enable WebSocket message broker. And two methods. In configure message broker we configure the following settings. Enable simple broker and set application destination prefixes. In register stomp endpoints we have the following settings. Add endpoint. And with sock.js for those who followed the previous video will note that this is the only difference from the code of the previous video. The last class is the greeting controller. Here you will find the code where the messages are received and sent. We have one method here with two annotations. Message mapping is there to receive the messages. And send to. To send the messages back. The rest of the code is the frontend part with the index HTML file. The JavaScript code and a simple style CSS file. The index HTML file is the same as in the previous video. The only difference are the script tags. In this code we load sock.js and stop.js. We will use this code later in the JavaScript section. We also have two forms and one table. The first form is the connect and disconnect buttons. The second form I the input field and the send button. The table is where later the messages will come from the JavaScript code. In the main JS file we find the JavaScript code, again we chose pure JavaScript without external libraries. We start by setting the WebSocket URL and the endpoints. In the connect function we connect to the WebSocket server and subscribe to the messages. Further we have disconnect. Show message. Send message. And set connected. The last block of code is to set all the buttons and forms correctly after loading the page. The last file is a simple CSS file. With some simple styling of the page. We can now start the project and test it in a browser window. We can now as a final step test the project in a browser window. We have two browser windows with localhost port 8080. The first step is to connect both windows to the WebSocket server. Then we can send messages from both windows that will be received by both windows. As you can see everything works as expected. In the following videos we are going to build a simple chat program step by step into a simple but full-fledged program. Thanks for continuing to follow our channel and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.